Hi, welcome to another video of the Maki app. Last time, we have shown you how to use Maki and draw diagrams for confluence. In this video, we will compare Maki and Gliffy to see which you should choose to draw diagrams on this platform. But first, we will talk a little bit about each of these diagramming tools. Maki is a very, very powerful tool to help you visualize your ideas and create stunning diagrams or sophisticated organizational structures. And that's not all. The app also supports drawing wireframes, mockups, mind maps, customized charts and graphs, pretty much anything you want to draw for Confluence. Similarly, Gliffy helps users visualize and draw diagrams. And this tool also supports other designs, but it is more about the diagramming feature. With Gliffy, you can get almost any diagrams finished. Now, when the two apps are put on the table, let's see how one compares to the other. We'll be comparing how to install and access these apps, in-app interfaces, the ease of use between Maki and Gliffy, the diagramming feature, which is the main part of this video, and finally, how you can manage your diagrams on Confluence. First, let's see how to install and access Maki and Gliffy. The installation process is similar. You can get the apps while on your Confluence. Navigate apps, then choose Find New Apps. Now, just type in the app name and you will be able to install it. You can also install Maki or Gliffy by searching for them on the Atlassian Marketplace. But remember to choose the right version for Confluence. About accessing these apps, it is easier for Maki. You can simply locate apps on the header and choose the Maki app. Meanwhile, it's a bit tricky for Gliffy. By following its tutorial, you will have to start editing your Confluence page and type Gliffy. Next, we should take a look at their interfaces. Once inside the Maki app, you will see a canvas in the middle. This is your workspace for drawing diagrams. You will see a left sidebar menu on the screen to access all the Maki's elements and components. And on the right, there will be a page settings menu, allowing you to adjust and edit your diagram components accordingly. As for Gliffy, its interface is relatively straightforward. It is quite similar to Maki's. The only difference is that most settings are on Gliffy's header menu. Moving on to the ease of use. Maki offers a much more detailed menu with a wide range of element collections at your fingertips, including shapes, icons, and more. So, Confluence users can create and visualize some of the most impressive diagrams, wireframes, and mockups possible. Meanwhile, Gliffy provides lots of elements, but with a more minimal interface, allowing drawing diagrams quickly and easily. Now, the main part of this video, let's compare the diagramming abilities between Maki and Gliffy. Users can create a new diagram from a single component with Gliffy. They can locate the diagram components on the left sidebar menu and choose the one they need. Simply drag and drop these components into the canvas, draw connectors, and edit them to suit your needs accordingly. You can also edit the shape, borderline, and color of lines and components. You can do the same with Maki. To draw diagrams, simply drag and drop a component to the canvas. You can edit its color, borderline, and many more. Maki also suggests you the next component to add to your diagram on the fly. And don't forget that you can change the styles of the line connectors, including their shape, arrowhead, and tail. Not only that, the Maki app supports enriched collections of elements at your service. You can use these elements to make a customizable charts mind map or diagram or use avatar elements to visualize your sophisticated organizational structures in a more understandable way. Finally, let's see how you can manage your diagram designs on Confluence. Maki empowers users to manage diagrams in three separate ways, including grid, map, and workflow. Therefore, you can expect to track and manage the designs process more effectively. On the other hand, Gliffy doesn't support any means to manage your diagrams at the moment. And that's all we want to share about Maki versus Gliffy. So, what is your decision? Let us help you wrap things up. If you want something that has lots of elements to use, and a way to manage your diagrams on Confluence with various customization abilities, 
you should go for the Maki app. On the other hand, what you are looking for will help you easily and quickly create a diagram with simplicity, then Gliffy might just be what you need. The decision is yours, and remember to think in the long run. It is recommended to go for a tool that satisfies all your wireframing, mock-up, and diagramming needs, like Maki. We hope that by watching this video, you can choose the right diagramming tool for your product and projects. If you like this comparison video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And consider turning on the bell notification icon so you won't miss any of our new upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.